we've spoken about all of the moving parts of this scamdemic, plandemic, whatever you like to call it, in various videos and live streams over the past few months. The stress and fear is very difficult to overcome. But regardless of these moving parts, all of these cogs in the machine, we know the end goal. We saw this with the Patriot Act in 2001. The government uses tragedies to push legislation that creates more and more of a surveillance state. And all of these bills, all of these things pushed through Congress were written years before the events actually happened. Guys, these people write the script. And I'm assuming this lockdown is going to be 18 months by the current predictive programming as well as the Event 201 scenario which occurred in November of last year. Event 201 simulates an outbreak transmitted from bats to pigs to people that eventually becomes efficiently transmissible from person to person leading to a severe pandemic. The pathogen and the disease it causes are modeled largely on SARS but it is more transmissible in the community setting by people with mild symptoms. There is no possibility of a vaccine being available in the first year. There is a fictional antiviral drug that can help the sick but not significantly limit spread of the disease. Since the whole human population is susceptible, during the initial months of the pandemic, the cumulative number of cases increases exponentially, doubling every week. And as the cases and deaths accumulate, the economic and societal consequences become increasingly severe. The scenario ends at the 18 month point with 65 million deaths. The pandemic is beginning to slow due to the decreasing number of susceptible people. The pandemic will continue at some rate until there is an effective vaccine or until 80 to 90% of the global population has been exposed. From that point on, it is likely to be an endemic childhood disease. So they literally did a trial run of what's happening now last year. And it's absolutely disgusting how easy it is for a fake illness to be used to create their end goal of globalism. One world government, one world religion. They will know where everyone is at every point in time. No freedom, no privacy, a complete surveillance state that you have to participate in. You know, if you don't become part of the society, you're going to be shunned. The sheeple will essentially be the downfall. The current powers that be have brainwashed the majority of the population too well. I mean, what do you expect? These people have been in control of us for thousands and thousands of years. They know what they're doing. There's a reason they're in control. This is through the complete control of all mainstream information, as well as taking down of certain stories. Although they have shifted away slightly from taking down channels, to just controlling the disinformation themselves. Every single person that goes viral, that gets hundreds of thousands to millions of views, is controlled opposition. And some of you guys might know Greg Anderson, the police officer that was fired. I think that went viral last week. Completely controlled. Dr. Shiva, Dr. Buttar, Brian Rose from London Real, David Ick, Judy Mikovits, all of these people that are going viral are controlled opposition. If you guys can't tell that, I mean, that's not to say that the stuff these people are saying isn't true. A lot of it, if not most of it, is. The problem is, they steer you into the direction of trusting the system. Believe in the political system, believe in the medical system, believe in this, believe in that. You know, you have the QAnon PSYOP, trust the plan BS. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses, Bible thumpers popping out of the woodwork, pushing Christianity like they have a gun pointed to their heads. All of these are forms of control to prevent one thing, a revolution. A revolution is the only thing that could break us free from this tyrannical rule. But people are too comfortable with roofs over their heads and food on their table, and that's not going to be the case for very long. And when they do take away the food and shelter, it's going to be too late at that point. The sheeple will sit by and observe, then choose the winning side, which will appear to be the government. The government will greet them with open arms with their FEMA camps, cockroach milks, microchip injections, Wi-Fi prison capsules to live in. The sheeple will only wake up when it's too late, and at that point, they're gonna choose to participate in the one world government. We've been locked in our homes like caged rats for almost three months, and they just said another month. This is absolute madness, craziness. And they're gonna keep doing this until it reaches 18 months. You know, they might back off a bit this summer, but then as soon as fall rolls around, they'll flick those towers on, they'll turn their frequencies on high, they'll make some children sick to make you stay inside 
for another three, four, five months. Then when that's almost over, they'll tack more time onto it. This is going to be at least 18 months. You know what's even more crazy? These virtue signaling dipshits complaining that other people aren't wearing a mask or social distancing. Mind your own fucking business, you sissy la la twerp. Worse than the useful idiots pushing the vegan diet. You know, vegans are poisoning themselves and other people under the lies that have been peddled by the mainstream media. And these tattletale cuck idiots are helping the government further strip away people's freedoms by working for free for the surveillance state. They didn't even have to put up these towers and these LED lamps. They could just rely on these cuck neighbors. This is probably the most frustrating thing out of all of this. People being shamed for trying to go out like normal human beings. People being shamed for not wearing a mask like a muzzled animal. And people being shamed for not wanting to live like a slave. And I'm sure a lot of these posts on social media shaming people are actually fake. Uh, disinfo uh, that are propped up by the government, you know, making it seem like, oh, all of these people are outside, so we're going to be locked up for longer. Who knows how much of it is real? Who knows how much of it is fake? Who knows how much of it is fake? It's hard to believe that someone can be so brainwashed they're helping the agenda. And if you are one of those brainwashed morons, if you have a problem with any of that, okay, stay in your home like a prisoner while I do my own thing. Mind your own goddamn business. Afraid of people not wearing a mask? Why? If anything, they get sick, not you. Why do these control freak schizos care so much about what other people are doing? If you want to stay imprisoned in your own home, go ahead. After all, it's for your safety, our safety, and the safety of our children. Make sure to listen to the government. And uh, yeah, it is interesting how they suddenly care about our safety when the food, air, water has been poisoned. I was trying to tan earlier and they're literally spraying fucking chemicals in the sky to block the UVB so I can't get my vitamin D. The for-profit medical system has been making money off of sick and unhealthy people for dozens and dozens of years. But with the current state of hospitals and doctor's offices, it makes sense why the Fed is printing money to make sure all of these elites still get their paychecks. Otherwise, Otherwise, you know, they would have probably had to turn these frequencies up a little higher to make more people sick. What's hard to believe is that everyone will just sit inside and stare at the television like a bunch of garbage eating morons. They have poisoned our minds. They have poisoned our bodies. And then these people tell me I'm crazy for going to a hospital and filming that it's empty. You know what's even crazier? That a video of me filming a street in New York City was taken down because it's against the guidelines. What kind of world are we living in now? That you're not even allowed to look outside your window? That people will blindly believe what they are told by authority figures? There's a reason that these people need those titles. That they need to create this false sense of authority. It's because they are nothing special and and aren't more intelligent than the average person. Therefore, they have to create something that makes you listen to them, makes you trust them, and allows them to rule your life. If someone tells you to eat crap all day, but it comes from a dietitian's mouth, that changes the meaning greatly. If the fact that they are killing children doesn't wake people up, I don't know what will. They are radiating children with cell towers, weaponry devices installed in front of every house, literally killing children and putting it in the news as a mysterious illness. If they're gonna do shit like that, what do you think they're gonna do to you? If you're able to understand that these people are that evil, that they will kill innocent children without blinking, what do you think they will do to you? Even a better question, why would you listen to these people? I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point with how censored my channel is. And uh, the game plan moving forward is just going to hand out as many flyers as I possibly can. And I know a lot of you guys are helping with that as well. Uh, the flyer is on my Twitter. It's pinned at the top. And don't go around trying to convince people of what's going on. Just hand out the flyers. And if people want to listen or wake up or do their own research, uh, that's up to them. So... Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully we can uh, get away from some of this nonsense this week, but uh, you know, it just seems to be you know the only thing to really focus on, unfortunately. And uh, you know, I mean, the title of this video, you know, 18 months of this stuff. I mean, that's all it seems like we're going to be focusing on and talking about until something happens. And uh, whatever, uh, if you guys want to support me, of course, uh, you know, like the video, drop me a comment down below. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe so that you can be unsubscribed next week. Uh, you can support me through all of the other uh, means that's down in the description below. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.